All right, so it's been a couple weeks since the last uh, progress log on the wearable computing thing, and I guess I've got some noteworthy updates. So, as I'd said, um, I uh, I succeeded in ordering a pair of uh, MyView crystals. These here, these are pretty nice. Um, what I like about these is that each uh, each LCD is in its own discrete unit, uh, housed within the casing within a sort of prism to so that way the LCD is actually sort of off to the side here with the prism bringing the image out in front of your eye. And then each video unit is on its own cable up to the point where it connects to the main controller. So what that means is I can crack this apart, pull out the two separate video units for easy monocular setup, or as I'm hoping to do for uh, my robotics team, set it up so that way it can be um, two monocular displays for two people uh, standing next to each other, as in the case of like an FRC driver station. Um, so yeah, these uh, when I'd ordered them, when I got, I succeeded in getting them on eBay, and then the seller sent me a message saying that uh, they didn't work. Um, I told him to send them anyways because I figured uh, whatever it was. I mean, since he said that there was like no picture or anything, I knew that well. It's not in the LCD unit itself. It's got to be either in the controller or in the cable that connect that came with it that connected it to an iPod or iPhone. Um, well, when I got it, I pulled apart the iPhone cable. Nothing looked bad in there. Uh, plugging it into my iPhone, nothing. Uh, if I also plugged in the remote um, to the USB power supply. Uh, the light, the light on here would light up weird, and I get, I wouldn't get any video, but I get some really garbled audio. Yeah, not, not any good. Um, so I figured with the weird light and the messed up audio, is probably a battery fault. Um, cracking open the pendant showed that the original battery in there was pretty puffy. Um, it's a your typical like one cell lipo battery this is the replacement i got this is actually a lot smaller than the original uh the original took up really nearly the entire uh, rest of the case this one has a much smaller footprint but it's about the same capacity i guess lipo yeah lipo technologies has gotten better in the years since the live view came out or something i actually could have gotten a 500 milliamp hour battery that still would have been smaller than the original one. The original was like a 380 milliamp hour, this is a 350. So I could have given it a higher battery capacity, but ah, in most of the applications I'm planning for this, I'm going to have USB power, power available anyway, so I don't really need a super long battery life. Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so battery fault. Um, so yeah, uh, just just today the new battery came in, so I desoldered it from Desoldered the old battery, uh, spliced on a couple of wires onto the solder pads there. It's solid core wire, so I can just stick them in the connector that came on this battery without uh, having to remove that connector or anything, which is nice. I could reuse this for some other tasks later. Um, so yeah, it works now. It's pretty great. Um, well, I don't know, the picture quality is so, 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 so much nicer than the one on the Excel vans I got on Amazon. Um, it's 480p instead of only 240p. And um, also the focal length like matches my eyes. I don't have to ram them against my face anymore. Um, one moment, let me try and pull up a sample video here. Yeah. So, Good that they're working. Um, no. All right. So I'm not sure how well that's going to show up on a webcam here. Yeah, that's way 
too way too bright to actually register. Um, okay, well, it works at least. You can see that much. And fortunately, I appear to be getting the white haze issue that I've seen reported on uh, some like RC quadcopter hobbyist forums of all places. They apparently this. These my view crystals are pretty popular for first person view and drone flight. Um, so there's actually they actually have these guys have a pretty decent uh, supply of information about hacking these, modifying them to re to use for um, like first person view and stuff. But yeah, so it looks like I'm getting the white haze bug. Um, it's just the backlight's a bit. It suddenly goes too bright. Um, I guess I could probably... Uh, okay, well, brightness controls are kind of working. Well, okay, so I can drop it down. Okay, well, no, that seems to have fixed it. I don't know. Was getting some weird striping earlier, but it looks like that's gone. I'll, have to, I'll just have to see how that holds up with uh, future use. Um, biggest problem right now, uh, the battery does not charge when it's plugged into the USB. It has something to do, I think, with, this is only a two-wire battery, but there's three solder points here, and the old battery had three wires to it. So it had some sort of custom piece, some different PCB on the battery itself, uh, which, uh, looks like the MyView needed to properly communicate with it or something. I have no idea how that was set up. So I pulled the old charging circuit, the charging circuit off the old one. You can see there there's three wires, red, black, and blue. Not sure, so it's the blue one that's the mystery wire. No idea what that's doing. So I'm probably gonna have to desolder the um, PCB from this battery and hook up the this original one instead. Except then, of course, the battery tabs are different spacings because this battery is so much smaller than the old one. I could go and get like the 500 milliamp hour battery from Adafruit, but that'd be like another few days of shipping, and the shipping is pretty expensive for a lipo for the lipo battery from them. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to get that worked out before I can do much more with this. Um, but yeah, the old battery really puffy. Um, it was leaking a uh, sort of bluish teal fluid, and when I went to unwrap the tape around this controller and pull it off, one of the tabs to this was corroded completely through. So that's probably why it wasn't working anymore. Yeah, that's really um, confidence inspiring. But that one, well, I've gotten rid of it now, or I guess I will get rid of it. I have it sitting away uh, to be disposed. So I'm going to have to take this controller, mount it to the new battery, um, hook that back up. Hopefully then it'll start charging so I can seal this back up. Maybe do the static screen hack that the RC hobbyist guys were doing. Not sure. Um, yeah, so get the controller working. And then it's just a matter of making a custom four-pole cable to hook up to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I need to reverse engineer the MyView pinout here so I know which uh, conductor ring needs to go to like video, ground, left audio, right audio, and all that. But after that, should be working. Should be able to use it with the Raspberry Pi then. Uh, I want to make a second custom cable to hook, up, to hook up to like a component video cable um, since component uh, with component video uh, for the uh, for the FRC uh, driver's station heads up display um, the lap the driver's station control laptop has a VGA out and then we've got a VGA to component video um, adapter lying around so I could, so I'll need to get that hooked up. But yeah, it's working at least. It's uh, it was a problem that I could fix rather than like I don't know a SMD resistor scraped off or, or 
or something that would have been impossible for me to deal with with the tools I have on hand. Yeah. It works. Just need to make sure the battery can actually be charged by plugging this in. Um, yeah. It works. 